In October 2021, Facebook announced its intention to hire 10,000 new employees to build the metaverse. When you look at the metaverse and when you look at what you've just announced, which is 10,000 new jobs, how much more jobs from here could we actually see? Is the metaverse actually taking over? Following the statement, there were 2.6 million searches of the term metaverse, as mentions of the keyword rose by 135% in the fourth quarter alone. This rapid increase in interest, coupled with lack of general awareness of what a metaverse tangibly is and why anyone should care, has contributed to a rather nebulous situation that is at once exciting and in need of clarity. At Twinbrew, the possibility of something greater is what truly excites and compels us to begin looking to the future. And as the digital arm of Brew, we're excited about what the metaverse holds for the fabric industry at large. This is why we're exploring the prospects of and its connections to digital twins. What actually is the metaverse? Well, if we think of the internet as something that we look at, the metaverse is a version of the internet that we're inside. The idea is that we will experience the metaverse as an avatar, a virtual version of ourselves that we control as we explore this new online frontier. And what the metaverse will make possible is that you can go experience the internet, that you will maybe go to that event in the virtual environment, that you will go shopping in a virtual environment. And what we also see is that in the way we experience the internet today, that's very siloed. It's e-commerce, it's entertainment, it's gaming, it's social. And also next to experiencing the internet, it will break those silos. You will be able to do shopping while you game, potentially while you have social interactions, while you maybe do stuff for work. So it's a new world or a mixed world where you have experiences and not only convenience-driven activities. That's what the metaverse has as a possibility. So the metaverse isn't just one thing. It's a convergence of different technologies and companies who have invested in building it out and are approaching it from their unique perspectives to enhance consumer experiences. And this is exactly why we decided to partner with NVIDIA and their Omniverse platform to roll out Twinbrew's Digital Fabric Twins. This is a shared virtual world in which users may collaborate on varying software applications and is one of the most exciting developments in both technology and design that underpins the importance of the digital twin to the metaverse. What the metaverse will allow is that we will be able to experience fabrics as well. That these virtual fabrics are so realistic and you are in an immersive experience where you will be able to experience them. How they feel, how they uh, look while being seated on, how they stretched and things like that will be possible also in a virtual environment. And that's the real opportunity for the metaverse for the fabric industry. This is the physical world, but what if we can replicate that physical world into its digital twin? A digital twin that is bound to the physical world in real time, that we can experience in mixed reality, that we can collaborate with, that we can run simulations on and find what is important to us, that we can apply AI to learn, predict, and act. Digital twins will certainly be the foundation upon which the metaverse will be built. They are sources of data that can be applied online for products or processes that don't even exist in the real world yet. The added benefit is that digital twins can generate live streams of data that can be modeled to mirror the behavior of their real world counterparts. All that data opens an infinite number of doorways and possibilities. Uh, and with a digital twin, we try to do the same. So we try to apply all the proper properties that a fabric might have and also translate them to the, the virtual world. So if you have a curtain that is semi-see-through, uh, in the virtual world, what we try to do with digital twins is make an exact replica where if you're standing in the virtual room, you experience the curtain as something very natural. You don't think it's fake or replicated. It feels see-through. It feels soft. If you think about velvets, it seems natural. And that's the point of a digital twin, that it is an exact replica, not only in how it looks, but also how it feels and how you experience it while, when you're close to it. But beyond all of this, there are key factors that differentiate the metaverse from the status quo. We believe these contribute to the building of a healthier and far more sustainable ecosystem for everyone involved. 
we'll be minimizing the need for physical swatches and the environmental and monetary cost implications of that, as well as bridging the imagination gap between artists, manufacturers, and consumers. Essentially, everyone across the value chain, in every field. One of the key benefits that I really want to, want to talk about at this point is closing the imagination gap. Now uh, architects, designers, retailers make decisions and uh, take collections or make decisions of a fabric within a collection based on the swatch, based on the meter on meter sample, for instance, for a hotel room, for um, an office space, for whatever. The possibility of the metaverse is that you will be able to close that gap, that imagination gap of how will the sample look on that couch? How will the sample look on that uh, chair? How will the sample look on that curtain? The process of rolling out new collections and virtual spaces at speed will also be more than possible and at scale with true democratization of art and data. It also provides meaningful contributions to the development of the metaverse itself, allowing more people to connect, share and build meaningful communities across all spheres and sectors. This truly will be a collaborative experience like no other. You might say that we accelerate the creation of the metaverse or we create content that enables developers, designers, artists to build these virtual uh, environments. Not only for ourselves to sell more fabric or to, to uh, position ourselves and our brands well within a certain space, but also more from a holistic perspective, we can create environments where people will be able to hold events, to have work-related activities, you can, you can think of multiple activities that you could have in the metaverse and potentially a fabric of ours could be on that couch, could be on that chair, could be on that curtain. As 3D artists uh, discover twin blue fabrics uh, and as they use it more. So that's from a holistic perspective, the value that we add. We help upholster curtains, seats, chairs in the future uh, world that we are creating together with multiple partners. As the creators of digital twins of market-ready fabrics, we can see the incredible potential for solutions such as ours in the future of the metaverse. I think that's, a, that's an important step that not only we should take, but also colleagues of ours that are working not only in textiles, also in wood and tiles and concrete and, and whatever you can think about. Mat virtualizing materials is key to create that environment. Uh, so from a holistic perspective, that's how we, uh, we try to add our piece of value to, uh, to the metaverse. Our partnership with NVIDIA Omniverse is our contribution to the digital future of fabrics and the first step towards merging physical products with the virtual universe. Part of this journey is going to be encouraging the industry and its associated fields to embrace digital innovations for their benefit, enabling greater accessibility to a global market, greater efficiency, more innovation and, more importantly, improved sustainability. There's much more to understand and explore, and we continue the conversation through our episodic vlogs and library of articles on our website. So be sure to come along as we uncover the virtual realm together.